Hey, Rob here for Quadratech. Today we're checking out the Tactic 9-inch LED replacement headlights with dual function white daytime running light and amber turn signal halo rings for the 2018 and newer Jeep Wrangler JL and 20 newer Jeep Gladiator JT. This 9-inch headlight from Tactic is a true replacement headlight designed specifically with the Wrangler JL and Gladiator JT in mind, and that means there's no additional brackets or trim rings required to get them mounted in the grill of your Jeep they're going to bolt right in and fill up that entire headlight bucket. Now the housings have been engineered to include a tough and durable polycarbonate lens as well as an IP67 waterproof rating. They also feature all DOT and SAE approvals making them 50 state street legal. The Tactic headlights feature a large center projector that illuminates for your low beam outputting 3,000 lumens of light to illuminate the road and trail ahead of your Jeep with a super sharp cutoff beam to make sure that none of that light bleeds up, blinding oncoming traffic. Now when you illuminate the high beam, three additional projectors on the top half of that lens will illuminate, giving you a total of 6,500 lumens of light to light up the road in front of you, drawing just 100 watts of power. Now that low and high beam light is designed to be a plug and play install featuring a factory style connector. There's also the added functionality of a dual function halo ring that illuminates white with your daytime running light and amber with your turn signals. Now that halo ring will require the addition of two wires to be added to your system that can be done with some minimal wiring. Getting your lights installed is easy. You'll simply start by opening the hood of your Jeep and removing the six push clips along the top edge of the grill, and then pull the grill away from the front of the Jeep. The factory headlights are held in place with three 10 millimeter bolts. With those removed, pull the headlight away from the grill and unplug the factory connector. For plug and play low end high beam, you'll simply connect that factory style connector to the factory wiring and reinstall the light, securing it with the three factory bolts. To add the additional functionality of the white and amber halo ring, we're going to be using our Quadratech DRL T-harness to make the installation easy, and we're not going to have to cut or splice into any of the factory wiring in the Jeep. We'll get started with these harnesses on the bench first. You're going to need two of the DRL adapter harnesses, along with some additional lengths of wiring and some butt connectors or splice style connectors. I've got four lengths of 40 inch wire here at two different colors just to keep the wiring a bit more organized. To get started, we're gonna go ahead and cut away the wiring loom on one of our adapter harnesses exposing the wires. Now with the wires exposed, we need to splice into the second white wire in the harness. Start by crimping the butt connector to one side of the white wire and add an additional wire into the opposite side. I'm gonna be using the green wire for this purpose. With the crimp completed, go ahead and heat shrink the butt connector. Then we can reinstall the wire loom and tape it up for a neat looking install. Lastly, we need to extend one of the included pigtails with the adapter harness. I'm gonna be using the yellow wire for this. Simply crimp this to the end of the pigtail with one of the red butt connectors. Go ahead and heat shrink that connector. And then for a neat looking install, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap some tape around the rest of the wiring harness. Now this completes one of our T harnesses. Simply go ahead and repeat those steps with the other harness, and then we can move on to installing them in the Jeep. This connector is going to plug in place on the driver's side and passenger side at the connection to the fender flare. You can access this connector by reaching down just in front of the brake booster, unplugging the red locking tab and pulling the connector apart. Install the T connector in between the two factory connectors, and then fish the wiring harness towards the front following the factory wiring pulling it out of the headlight bucket at the front of the grill. At this point, we can cut the wiring to length and then crimp two male spade connectors in place that will plug into the harness on the back of the Tactic headlight. You can secure everything in place with some zip ties, and now we can move on to installing the headlight, plug in that factory style connector to the headlight plug, match the yellow wire in the new harness we've just created with the red wire on the Tactic headlight, and the green wire will go to the green wire. You'll simply repeat these steps on the opposite side of the Jeep. The connector on the passenger side can be accessed by reaching up from underneath of the wheel well behind the inner fender. 
And that's all it takes to get your Tactic 9 inch replacement headlights installed in the front of your Wrangler JL or Gladiator JT. If you want to get more information or to purchase a set for your Jeep, you can click that info button to head over to quadratech.com. Of course, if you have any comments or questions about the lights, their function, or how to get them installed, you can always leave that for me down in the comment section below or contact us directly at any of the options on the screen. And as always, if you haven't already and you like these videos, do me a huge favor, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button as well as the notification icon so be sure to catch all of our latest videos. Till next time, I'm Rob. I'll see you out on the trail.